some observations on where we stand with the Aguilar Madero's case, regardless of whether you think that his sentence is too harsh or justified. The Democrats who have complete control of the state legislature have the opportunity to make those mandatory minimum sentences a prominent topic in the next session to educate the public on why they exist, how they work. So the Coloradans can then speak through their elected representatives on whether they think that those sentences are just. Governor Jared Polis will now consider a clemency request during a campaign year. Those two things will be inseparable in the eyes of some, so it's going to be up to the governor to clearly explain the rationale of his decision. And District Attorney Alexis King owes the public in Jefferson County a considerable explanation. Why her team took a case to trial arguing for convictions that would put Aguilera Medeiros away for a century, only to then ask the judge to reconsider the sentence after a huge public backlash. And also, whether the DA intends to keep on the prosecutors who celebrated that conviction with an office trophy made out of a truck break. Outside whatever you believe Aguilera Medeiros deserves, all Coloradans deserve a better explanation of how the sentence happened and what elected officials plan to do next.